Hello friends, Mr. Gizmo here. Some of you might not be able to uh, notice easily, but uh, a lot of the front of my car is uh, relatively new. So what is new? A lot of the front paint here, new hood, new front bumper, a lot of paint on the front here. Um, this whole support bar, AC condenser, all of this plastic, AC fan, Kevlar bar, these plastic kidneys. I mean, yeah, I've been uh, in a slight fender bender. And all I'm gonna tell you is uh, that when you swap your brake pads, make sure that you seat the pistons before you start moving the car. And I'll just leave it at that. So everything is good. It was a very slow rolling uh, type of an accident for the, the speed that we were going at. Uh, surprisingly, a lot, of, uh, a lot of damage to both cars. Front of the car is usually a lot more stout. My concern with my car was actually these uh, structural beams to which the bumpers uh, attach. Mine were not, uh, mine were not damaged, but the car that got rear-ended, the, the car that I rear-ended had a trunk floor buckled, like it was a whole mess. So if you can, don't ever get rear-ended. Or be the car in the front. So anyway, so uh reason for this uh, quick video is uh i decided to take care of my uh my lens covers might be hard to tell but it is really pitted um the car doesn't really see much sunlight just sitting outside but it is really pitted from rocks and I, i've actually already done this one and this one is really clear and i'm gonna try to swap out this one and i'm just gonna give you guys a couple of tips on how to do it because i see a lot of people struggling with this some people remove the whole bumper to access a couple of things on the bottom here some people remove the entire light fixture in order to be able to do this um it literally took me five minutes on the other side and uh, i will make one caveat you see here so my car normally comes with these uh, washers that wash the headlights if you have this you're gonna probably have to remove the entire um the entire light assembly because uh, this cover here and this little washer acts uh if you've ever you know been around a sprinkler on a house it, wor it works in a, on a similar principle there's a little spring that pulls it back in once it doesn't sense any pressure so uh in order to remove this it's going to be difficult for me i actually removed this i treat it as a secret air intake because there's a straight shot here if i take out the washer nozzle it's a straight shot into the intake i don't use these things these things are actually like falling out and broken anyway so i removed them on both sides so if you have the washer like i said if you do have the the headlight washer piece here um this is not really really going to work for you but if you don't have this option what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this trim so starting on this side i'm going to remove that trim to get to here i'm going to remove this guy which is really easy to do it's like a pinch connection through this hole right here and then for the headlight cover itself you see these guys so you're going to have three on the top if yours is not broken mine is kind of broken on the side here one on the side and I think there's two or three on the bottom and it's really easy you don't have to remove the bumper you don't have to remove really anything else so just uh, easily pry these guys out. You know, I'll, I'll show what these look like, but the way that you get these up is uh, you can pry with a screwdriver very gently and then they will, uh, they will give. So that one's off. I did have to remove this little uh, rubber piece. Mine's actually bent, I could replace it later. But, uh, but anyway, you just remove them really easily very slowly just pull 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 all around so again to remove the whole side marker assembly you go through this hole you find this white thing if yours is not cracked it's just a phillips head you loosen it i don't know five ten turns and then this whole thing will come out and then i would disconnect the electrical connector and then that gives you a straight shot into a couple other parts that we need to disconnect here and here that's your bumper adjustment and you 
you can see this guy is what pinches this thing in there to hold the whole side marker in. Okay. You just push that clip in, then you pull a couple of these things out. The only other piece that could give you some trouble is here on the corner. You have to uh, bend that little tab inward to get unhooked from that hole, and that's pretty much it. The rest of it, so you have, again, this tab, this tab, and this tab here, and then three on the top and one on the side. And then you just maneuver it. And these are for xenons, the halogens are going to be a little different. So this is the older one, this is the newer one. Installation is the reverse of the removal. It only goes in on one way. You just maneuver it around all of these plastics. Just push it on there and they will clip in. Pretty satisfying exercise. And I found that you actually have to push these things kind of back on because they are weak at this point. So just push them on around. Next I slide this thing on. The way that you started is you started on this corner and then you kind of get the thing seated and then you just wrap it around and snap snap these guys in one by one. All right, the rubber piece just slides in very easily in there. And last but not least, we reconnect this guy. And when you slide this on, just make sure that this metal bracket is aligned with this plastic. And then you just slide it onto that white thing right there and then uh, tighten it up. And that's it, looks a lot fresher. Enjoy your cars guys.